Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on LFM. I am recording this one late because I've been ill the past few days, still not 100%. So um, uh, what I decided to do, I just played through the end of the season and now I'm going to go back and uh, I loaded up the match of the final, the final match for the season. And we're going to take a look and see how it ended. So to put this into context, last season... Um, it was actually quite exciting. It was the last match, it was the decider match whether or not we were going to stay in the league. We needed a win, a draw was not enough. So, yeah, it was quite a crucial, this match. But anyway, I had no voice that day, so there was no point in me recording. So, we're going to watch the key highlights. I think that will be enough. Let's slow that up. So he had three goals this this uh, this game. Uh, South End were, I think, something like five or six places above us, around fifteenth, from what I can remember. We were twenty first at this point, actually, in the match. And uh, yeah, so a lot has happened since this match. So I carried on playing, uh, started doing the prep for the new season. I actually started the new season already. I did played uh, one match. I don't know, have I played it? I'm not sure if I played it actually. No, I haven't played the new match. I played the friendlies. Um, the first match is coming up. Anyway, so yeah, so last, at the end of this uh, the, the season, we we're struggling financially a lot. We were nearly two million in the red. And I was like, oh, if we get relegated, it's gonna be so difficult to get us. A lot of, you know, a lot of players will want to leave. A lot of the staff will want to leave. Our revenue will drop. It's gonna be really difficult. There was a chance that it could actually be good for the club because we would slim down a little bit. We probably still would still be good enough to be promoted again, but maybe you know something would happen and we got our finances sorted. But actually, what happened was the opposite. So we stayed, as you can see from this match, we stayed in the league just enough by the skin of our teeth, um, and then um, it coincided with us having paid off uh, a loan, so we're no longer in any sort of credit we don't have any sort of credit to pay off um, so we don't have to play loans back anymore we also managed to sell two players uh, for a considerable amount of money into the hundreds rather than anything so I sold one of the youngsters for just over 300k and one of our central defenders, I sold them for 100k because I had a replacement at that point anyway. So that was later on in the transfer window in the summer. Which meant that we had a healthy amount of cash back and added on to everything else that we received. It meant that we actually went positive for a little bit. I think we're, we're going to end up in the red again soon. But we're not spending as much as we were last year. We managed to slim down our wage bill as well so it, things are kind of looking on the up I still won't get any I, I've, I've asked the the board to expand the stadium they still haven't accepted it even though we were in actual positive figures in the bank but yeah so we're still not gonna have an expanded stadium but I'm hoping that if I can do that again say for example next season sell a couple of players for a few hundred thousand or maybe even try and get to a million then we have some money to play with for improving the club our youth facilities and our training facilities were actually relegated uh, 
so the training for the youth and the, and the senior were actually relegated. So we have slightly worse facilities compared to our competition now. So anyway, so that was the last match. It was quite a thrilling match. Nothing really happened in the second half, but um, the the first half was really good. It um, it gave us the confidence that we needed to get 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 away to a fresh start in this league. So we're gonna play this league again. And where are we now? We are going to start. Where am I looking? Where is the league? There we go. Uh, we're going to start a new league, and obviously we are still favourites to come last. But we have uh, some new players, which you know I will show you in the next episode. But just to show off the youth as well, we've managed to keep some quality in the youth, and you still have to sort out the other twenty ones, but. The under 18s is looking not bad. I'm not sure how they will do because last year's team was very, very good. We won the title again by a lot, uh, but this this year's I don't know. Um, the under 21s have historically not been very good, but I think this year they might be okay. Finances, as I mentioned, we weren't into the positives a little bit. We're already starting to come down this month. Uh, obviously, that was helped by a season tickets. We don't have season tickets um, on sale anymore, so that will uh, that will see um, will have an impact on this month. But yeah, so I'll show you the new squad later on, just to kind of show you the the transfers that we did. So we sold Archie Flynn to Cardiff, which is a competing team, probably not the most clever move, but there we go, we got some money. And we also uh, sold John at the senior, at the Shin Shina, um, and we also sold him for 100k, which is probably not enough really compared to what he's worth now. But anyway, I'll show you the new transfers when, when we get back in the next episode. So that's just to bring you up to date, sorry I've been ill so I wasn't able to record that one live, but um, yeah. Hopefully I'll be better for the next one, which will be coming up soon. Take care. Bye-bye.